Hi, welcome to our channel Good New. We have steadily advanced from the age of PCs and mobile devices to the age of the cloud, where practically every element of our life is saved and handled online during the last 40 years. I believe that the next step in the digital future will be distributed intelligence, which will be driven by the seamless integration of communications, computing, and artificial intelligence, all of which will necessitate more computing power, accelerating the demand for more powerful and energy-efficient microchips. The production of semiconductors has gotten increasingly difficult as chip technology has evolved. The most sophisticated processors available today are built on the logic in 5 node, 5 nanometers, and comprise billions of transistors. More sophisticated materials, new packaging processes, and more intricate 3D designs will be included in the next generation of chip designs. And lithography is the driving factor behind the development of increasingly powerful and less expensive semiconductors. Then I began to consider a number of serious and critical questions, when will the next generation of EUV lithography chances become available? What is the semiconductor industry's future? ASML's goal has always been to reduce the critical dimensions of chip processes, and its overall lithography portfolio, EUV, AR5, ARF, KRF, and I-Line systems, for example, helps optimize production. Metrology and inspection solutions are integrated to help optimize production and reduce costs by integrating lithography systems with computational modeling. One of the key drivers of lithography shrinkage is the feasible resolution of a lithography system, which is primarily dictated by the wavelength of the light employed and the numerical aperture of the optical system. Shorter wavelengths are like using thinner paintbrushes to print smaller details. A greater numerical aperture may focus light more closely, resulting in improved resolution. ASML lithography systems have evolved through a process of decreasing wavelength and increasing numerical aperture. DUV lithography systems range from 365 nanometers, I-line, 248 nanometers, KRF, to 193 nanometers, ARF, whereas EUV lithography devices have a light wavelength of just 13.5 nanometers. The angle of incidence of light is represented by NA, the numerical aperture of the optical system. Larger NA lenses can be used to print smaller structures. ASML enhances the NA of ARF systems, so-called immersion systems, in addition to bigger lenses by retaining a thin layer of water between the final lens element and the wafer. Following the wavelength transition to EUV, ASML is developing the EUV 055 NA, high NA, system, which boosts the numerical aperture from 0.33 to 0.55. ASML's newest generation EUV 033 NA lithography machine is the Twinscan NXE 3600D. When compared to its predecessor, the Twinscan NXE 3400C, it may give a 15% to 20% productivity boost and a 30% coverage improvement while supporting EUV mass production of 5 nanometers and 3 nanometers logic nodes and leading drum nodes. According to the annual report, the EUV product roadmap will assist ASML in achieving inexpensive equipment growth over the next 10 years. ASML's EUV 0.33 NA platform broadens customers' logic and drum roadmaps by reducing essential lithography mask volume by 40% and process steps by 30%, allowing customers to drastically cut cost and cycle time. According to statistics, ASML's EUV lithography machine has produced more than 59 million wafers from the start of EUV until the end of 2021, with a total of 26 million at the end of 2020. As can be seen, EUV lithography equipment are now experiencing significant growth, and ASML anticipates that adoption of EUV will continue to expand, with all advanced node chip makers using EUV in production by 2024. Next-generation EUV 0.55 NA platforms will continue to allow cost-effective scaling for future nodes, new optical designs with greater numerical apertures are predicted to cut chip size by a factor of 1.7, boost resolution, and nearly triple microchip density. The first EUV 0.55 NA platform early access system is planned to be operational in 2023, with customers expected to begin R&D in 2024 to 2025 and mass production for customers in 2025 to 2026. A lithography system is simply a light projection system that projects light onto the design to be printed, called a mask or mask. The system's optics constrict and concentrate the pattern onto the photosensitive silicon wafer by encoding the pattern in light. After printing the pattern, the system slightly shifts the wafer to produce another copy on the wafer. This technique is continued until the pattern completely covers the wafer, finishing one layer of the wafer. The procedure is continued layer by layer to create a full chip, combining the patterns to build an integrated circuit, IC. At the moment, the simplest chip has roughly 40 layers, and the most sophisticated chip has more than 150 layers. DUV lithography systems remain the industry's dominant force. DUV systems serve a wide range of market areas, are responsible for printing the majority of layers in client equipment today, and will continue to play a key role in future equipment. What is the semiconductor industry's future? 
What are the variables influencing the semiconductor industry landscape? What are the major themes driving present and future industry growth? ASML thinks that factors such as rising consumer demand, the global talent race, geopolitical considerations, more R&D investment, a changing external environment, and climate change action are transforming the semiconductor business landscape. Growing consumer need, the convergence of wireless communications, telephony, media, and the cloud via linked devices continues to fuel worldwide demand for advanced semiconductors, while rising population and urbanization are driving demand for sophisticated consumer electronic gadgets. Chips are at the core of these gadgets, and the ongoing development and demands of innovative technologies are becoming a significant growth driver for chips. Global talent race, highly trained technical talent is in short supply in the job market and competition is heating up. Companies in the business are attempting to expand its workforce, but the pool of high-tech talent is limited, with the industry battling for a tiny pool of scientists, engineers, and software developers with the ability to produce creative solutions. The worldwide battle for talent is growing more intense. The number of STEM jobs is predicted to expand dramatically, but filling them will be difficult owing to a lack of skilled individuals. Retaining talent has become critical for technology organizations. Global geopolitics the current trade climate poses considerable problems for the global semiconductor sector, and growing trade tensions and protectionism are expected to persist. The outbreak's worldwide expansion has reminded governments all around the world that global supply chains can have considerable regional dependence on services, raw materials, and finished goods. Semiconductors are becoming increasingly crucial in the growth and continuation of big industrial complexes, and governments are focusing on the semiconductor supply chain to assure enough supply and plan large-scale expenditures in the semiconductor sector. According to external statistics, the United States, China, the European Union, Japan, and South Korea are predicted to roughly increase the industry's annual capital investment in 2021 to $150 billion. Aside from the financial repercussions, trade disputes and protectionism have added considerable complexity to the whole supply chain and its operations, causing the sector to re-examine its global supply network. In conclusion, we can gradually verify that the ongoing digital transformation and the current chip shortage drive ASML's need to increase production capacity. On the one hand, logic demand for advanced and mature nodes continued to be strong, driven by digital transformation and distributed computing. On the other hand, memory demand continued to grow, driven by server and smartphone end market demand. ASML anticipates that EUV memory requirements will rise further as customers switch to more powerful nodes. Looking ahead to 2025 to 2030, almost a decade will center on distributed computing, bringing the cloud closer to edge devices and computing power will deliver on-device computer capacity to everyone through connectivity, allowing a connected society. These worldwide electronics megatrends, backed by a highly lucrative and intensively inventive environment, are likely to propel the whole semiconductor market forward. According to ASML's forecast on the current market size and market opportunities for the entire industry, the driving factors of different segmented application markets are also shaping the pattern of the semiconductor industry, becoming the main trend driving the industry's development now and in the future. Thanks for having your watching in this video. You can add your ideas or suggestions below. Please keep following our channel and like our videos.